Well, hey everybody, it's John Lake Erie Chestnuts. Getting toward the end of September, it's windy. The wind you know and love. I'm gonna do an update here. I did an update last year on a three-year-old tree versus a four-year-old tree. And at that time, it was a three-year-old tree heading into its fourth leaf because it was early June. So it's only one year later, but we're not, it was really an, it, it was a three-year-old tree going into its fourth year. So I guess by that thinking, this is a four-year-old tree going into its fifth year, but really it's at the end of its fifth year of growing. Uh, and so I wanted to compare, these are all, these are two trees that I've been following and I'll do a link here uh, that shows you last year, the comparison between that tree at the end of three years heading into its fourth year of leaf and then a tree that's one year older. These are Chestnut Ridge of Pike County chestnuts that I grew from seed. Uh, they are Dunstan seedlings. Uh, all their parent trees are Dunstan, so these are seedlings of those. So let's look at the tree. This tree is, just to show you the tag, it's J1, planted in, uh, from seed in 16 and then planted later that season out here. This tree is about 10 foot tall. This tree has its central leader and then it's got some decent lateralizing branches. And last year when I showed this tree to you, it had blossoms. Uh, this year it did not. And that's how the young trees are. They kind of hit or miss, especially here with the weather that we have, you know, the seasons. But, you know, as they get more mature, they'll be more reliable. Now we're gonna take you to a tree that's one year older, same tree that we compared it to, the three versus the four year old. This is kind of a four year old finishing its fifth growing season. You know, it's gonna turn five if it's like human. I guess next spring it'll turn five, but it's finished its fifth leaf, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's its fifth leaf that you see behind me. And this one is finishing its sixth leaf. And you can see that one, we'll compare this tree right here. This one is the one that is finishing its fifth year. And then just up crossing a tree up to here, this one is one year older, same genetics. Well, I mean, they're not exact replicas, but this tree is about 11 or 12 foot tall, but much more effort has been put into its side branching. And this one had blossoms a year ago as well. This year, I don't believe it did. It does not have burrs anyway, and I'd been hopeful that it'd have burrs because typically at this phase, I would say about half of the trees that are in its sixth year of growing will have burrs. Uh, but, you know, burrs are low across the nation and here as well, especially for young trees. So a beautiful tree, nice comparison. And if you live somewhere in a similar climate to Northwest Pennsylvania, uh, then this is kind of what you can expect uh, in a six year old tree. Now, I've had some guidance that if I would control these weeds, uh, I would get better growth. Other people, if they cage them rather than tube them, will get more robust trunk uh, size, uh, but then, you know, don't have as the much height because these get forced up by the tubes. But again, I'm trying to get out of the deer, out of the range of the deer chewing, and I'm trying to work with nature as much as I can. I'm not against spraying, but if I don't have to, I'm gonna avoid it. So leaves are starting to color, uh, getting some oranges, getting some beautiful colors. You can see peeking out over here in the woods. We got some nice oranges and reds. Just a beautiful day in the orchard. So hopefully you enjoy that comparison of a five-year-old tree compared to a six-year-old tree looking back at the previous year what what those have done over the year so thanks for following me here Lake Erie chestnuts we're getting ready to move into kind of limiting some of our damage by taking out the biggest and meanest bucks on the farm of course that's the plan best laid plans of mice and men often go awry however so thanks for following me 
remember if you're not out there growing you're dying